Now, China has said that the recent terror attacks targeting the Chinese engineers in Pakistan are simply unacceptable. And it has demanded that the Pakistani government should launch a crackdown against the anti-China terror groups. In a rare show of public rebuff that was directed to the Pakistani authorities, the Chinese envoy said that nothing can be achieved without safe and sound environment. And the ambassador Jiang Zaidong further said that the security of the Chinese people was the biggest constraint in the China-Pakistan economic corridor. The Chinese ambassador made these remarks in the presence of Pakistan's Deputy Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister Ishaq Dar. The envoy said, and I quote him here, it is unacceptable for us to be attacked twice in a span of six months, and these attacks have resulted in casualties. He also expressed hope that Islamabad will further strengthen the security measures to protect the Chinese personnel, institutions and projects. Now, Ishaq Dar said in his speech that China never sends its personnel to a country which has security issues and Pakistan was the only exception. The Chinese ambassador used his right to reply to clarify, saying that President Xi Jinping cares about China's people's security and puts people's lives first. It is highly uncommon for a foreign diplomat to express divergent views from the host country's leader during his right to reply. Now, during his speech, the Pakistani Deputy Prime Minister claimed that the authorities have made arrests tied to the recent attacks on the Chinese nationals. In October, two Chinese nationals were killed in an explosion near the Karachi International Airport and it followed a suicide bomber that killed about five Chinese engineers in March. The separatist militant group Baloch Liberation Army has taken responsibility for the attack in the month of October. The BLA had specifically targeted the Chinese interests, accusing Beijing of helping Islamabad exploit the local resources. And our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us this report from Islamabad. Listen in. Well, in a rare show of public defiance, the Chinese ambassador to Pakistan publicly took the state to rebuke or rebut the comments made by the Pakistani foreign minister yesterday uh, while laying out clearly that the priority for the Chinese side is with regards to the security of uh, Chinese nationals in Pakistan. It is also pertinent to mention that uh, there have been at least two attacks uh, in the past six months where the Chinese nationals have directly come under attack. The envoy has urged Pakistani authorities to bring perpetrators of these attacks, of these heinous acts of terror uh, to justice uh, and that uh, action, strict and stern action should be taken. Now it is pertinent to mention that ahead of the visit of the Pakistani president to China that is to take place from the 4th to 7th of November which will be Asif Ali Zardari's first bilateral visit since taking charge uh, as uh, the office or uh, uh, as the president for the second time. Uh, this will be his first ever bilateral visit where he will be meeting Chinese President, President Xi Jinping uh, and this matter is expected to be taken up particularly with regards to the security bid but the fact that the Chinese uh, envoy said uh, comments publicly signals that all is not well between Islamabad and Beijing especially when it comes to the matter of security. And as Malik Islamabad Pakistan for View on World is one. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.